welcome to Valley View High School. My name is Karen Johnson. I'm principal here at the Home of the Eagles. It is our distinct pleasure to welcome and host this celebration. Marino Valley Unified School District is being honored as an advanced placement honor roll district. We are happy to feature such a small portion of our advanced placement program. We began just three short years ago with only 18 AP courses being offered. Today, we have more than 22 advanced placement course offerings. There are some very distinct AP courses that are exclusive to Valley View High School. These programs are not only distinct to our high school, but to our district and also to our county as well as the nation. For example, Valley View High School offers AP Computer Science. You will only find this course being offered in 200 high schools in the entire nation. We also have the AP Capstone Program, which is unique to our district, our county, and our nation. That means that when students graduate from Valley View High School, they will have the distinction of AP Diploma on their high school diploma. This allows them to apply to any prestigious university in the nation as well as internationally. Our AP students today are wearing a t-shirt that has been designed by an AP student by the name of Evelyn Flores. It says on the back, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path. What do I say each day, Eagles? Say it with me. Eagles soar with excellence, they lead with dignity, and they pursue with a purpose. This is an AP Spanish language and culture class. Today, students are practicing two parts of the AP exam. One is called the interpersonal speaking, the other one, cultural comparison. They first are given a Venn diagram where they choose one called their own culture to speak about and then another culture that must be a Hispanic culture. There is a question and they were already given four minutes to write down uh, the keywords, what they want to say on their uh, pre uh, presentation for the cultural comparison. Uh, so they have their device, they have to check the volume, they have to speak into it, and they have to compare these two cultures. They have two minutes to do that. On the interpersonal speaking part, it's a dialogue. They also use the same device, and of course, uh, there are already questions presented to them, and they just answer them. That takes about 20 seconds per answer, and these are two parts, again, that um, they have to know, they have to practice, because it will be on their AP exam. Hi, I'm Yolanda Gonzalez, and this year I'm taking AP Spanish Lane Culture with Ms. Rogers. While I'm taking the AP exam, I pursue um, to minor in Spanish for college while becoming a doctor, which is my number one goal in life. Hi, I'm Isaac, Isaac Mejia, and I took Mrs. Rogers' AP Spanish Language and Culture class about two years, my sophomore year. Um, uh, when, the AP, when the AP exam came, I took it and I passed it with five. This class really prepared me for other classes. Um, it focused on language and it helped us um, with the structure of essays, which really, came, which really was really helpful. When, Hi, I'm Mrs. Yi. I'm here at Valley View High School and I teach AP Capstone. This class builds on many skills. Argumentation, collaboration, um, a passion of inquiry of, of information that these students do want to learn about. They learn about this information and then they bring it back to their peers and teach us more about what it is that they've learned. This is a, a class that will definitely help them in the future. Unlike other AP courses, this course is different. Um, it is skills-based as opposed to content-based, which means that uh, the skills that the students are learning in this class, they take away with them through college and through their career. Uh, basically, the AP research class is very beneficial for my future because it presents a lot of opportunities that aren't accessible in other classrooms. Um, an example of this is how to create a research paper. Um, this is an area that's not really explored in other classes. Um. Hi, my name 
name is Janine Lopez. I'm the theater teacher here at Valley View High School. We also offer not only beginning theater, intermediate theater, but also advanced theater honors. This is our stage that our students perform on more than 10 times a year. Most schools only offer two shows, if that a year. California only has 39% of its high school students available to have a performing arts class. We need to up that number, and that's the reason why I offer the advanced theater honors class. We are also the only honors theater class in the surrounding areas. So during this class, students are going to expand on the knowledge they've already learned, such as monologues and scene work, and they will delve more in depth into writing their own plays, writing their own scenes. They do compete in about 10 different competitions, uh, some of which are also technical theater. We do have a thriving technical theater program. In order for a student to participate in technical theater, they would have to be enrolled either in intermediate theater for the beginning stages of tech or advanced theater in order to start really implementing the skills they've learned. We have a number of students who have gone through our program who work professionally as actors and technicians. We have a large number who actually work as technicians because the entertainment industry is the second largest industry in the state of California. So students are leaving here with the ability to go out into the workforce and try to get jobs that are in this field. We have students who now work at Morongo doing technical work there. We have students at Disney. We have students at Universal. We have a number of other alumni in multiple places. We hope that you're able to come and join this program and excel and learn a lot. No matter what you do in the program, you will learn and you'll be able to take it into another field of work. Thank you. Um, how advanced theater is helping me now is, well, when I was in middle school, I thought as theater as a place of grandeur where I could be something really magical and put on a show where audience would stand up and laugh and, or cry or whatever. But when I got here, I found that it's more than just being famous. It's actually about having a family. This is going to help me in my job because I'm learning valuable presentation skills and leadership and self-efficacy that would help me gain more knowledge. Our school offers so many different things and one of the most amazing parts of it is our theater program. I'm in fact an officer for our program. Um, I am in charge of the makeup and I think that's one of the best parts and one of the biggest misconceptions about theater is that there's so many different parts to the program. Oftentimes people believe that you just have to be an actor or know how to get up on stage and not have stage fright. But in reality, there's different components of it. So I feel like if I hadn't taken this um, AP Spanish language and culture class, I wouldn't have been more in touch with my roots. I wouldn't have known how to be like how to write how to write more proficiently in Spanish. And so those kind of, like those kinds of things help to make me the person who I am today. I'm more. This like, prepares us for the future because in most fields in the future, you're required to be able to have good speaking skills. Um, be able to articulate what you're saying to others. So it's good to get practice in um, in earlier years of high school rather than in the future when you're required to do it. Um, here in uh, Advanced Theater we learn a lot of social skills and learn how to do emotional things and try to understand moods and other personalities and try to build our own characters. We all join together as a family and 